In this video, we demonstrate paint selection of volume data on the Dell Latitude 7285 to in one computer and Wacom tablet. Let us first load a data set into Fluo Render. The Dell Latitude 7285 to in one computer is equipped with a touch screen. We can use finger as the paint brush to select structures. Zoom to the structure we want to select and enable the selection brush tool from the data set panel. Then, we use the finger to paint and select the structure. Notice that the parameters controlling the selection strength are fixed when a mouse or finger is used for painting. Depending on the threshold and edge detection values, certain low intensity structures may not be selected. When we erase the selected structure and then enhance the low intensity brightness, we can clearly see the low intensity structures that have not been selected. Although we can change the parameters and reselect the structure, an easier method to control the selection strength while painting is to use a pressure sensitive digital stylus. The Dell Latitude 7285 to in one computer is also equipped with a stylus using the Wacom technology. The pressure putting on the stylus translates to selection strength. Painting with a high pressure allows more lower intensity structures to be selected. The current pressure value can be obtained by enabling the view information. We can start with a low pressure, and if there are more low intensity structures to select, we increase the pressure and paint. When a high pressure is used for selection, we see that the entire structure has been selected. The stylus pressure support allows intuitive operations on the Dell Latitude 7285 to in one computer. Traditional computers can also benefit when a Wacom tablet or display tablet is connected. In addition, the Wacom tablet supports a series of stay lion mice. We first use the Wacom up to paint and select structures. We load the same data set as previously. Then, we zoom to the structure using the touch ring on the tablet. The tablet also provides a series of shortcut keys, such as Control and Shift. We can enable the paint brush in Fluo Render by holding the Shift shortcut key on the tablet. The pressure of the art pen works the same as the stylus of the Dell Latitude 7285 to in one computer. When we apply low pressure on the pen, only high intensity structures are selected. When we apply high pressure on the pen, low intensity structures are also selected. The size of the brush also changes with the pressure. However, this is designed as a visual indicator for pressure. When we delete the selected structure, we confirm that the low intensity structures are indeed selected. To change the brush size on the fly, Fluo Render also supports the Wacom Airbrush. The Wacom Airbrush provides a wheel on the body of the pen. The brush size in Fluo Render can be controlled by turning this wheel. We put the airbrush on top of the tablet surface and enable the brush in Fluo Render by holding down the Shift shortcut key on the tablet. We can then increase or decrease the brush size by turning the wheel. We use a small brush size to select small structures. To select large structures, the brush size can be changed very easily. The most frequently used parameters of the selection brush in Fluo Render can be controlled using the Wacom tablet and airbrush. We can switch from selecting large structures back to small structures easily. The Wacom Airbrush is also pressure sensitive. Apply high pressure to select low intensity structures. In conclusion, these newly added features to support pressure sensitive pens allow natural 
and intuitive selection operations in Fluorenda. You can enjoy these benefits on two-in-one computers equipped with the Wacom technology, or on Wacom tablets and display tablets.